Seriously, cat, you need to get out of there. I'm about to start this thing. Come on. I can see you. Keep moving. Okay, this needs to be a very fast trip to the workshop. Battery lights on. A very little time before this thing shuts down, so I'm gonna turn the camera off for a minute. So welcome back to the workshop guys. New day, new problem. Uh, as you may have seen there in the introduction, charge light is on this thing. So uh Alternator's packed up. Now I've had a look online. I know that Aiden getting the alternator out involves removing the viscous fan and um, pulling in there I'm going to change the belt as a precaution. I can't seem to find a video on doing that and uh, removing the viscous fan in one of these. I've seen it in the TD5 and other engines but not the TD6 that I can see. So, uh, I was going to do a full video on this thing where I solved some other issues as well, but I think we might leave this uh, just to start out this alternator problem. Uh, at least then it may be of use to somebody who um, comes to take a fan off on these in the future. So, let's get cracking. Okay, before we go any further, if you were a regular around here, you will be very pleased to see this. That's right, I have listened to your comments and um, Upgraded my camera. I've also got new lights to go into the workshop, so hopefully the stuff we fill them indoors Will be a lot better going forward. So um, this is a Canon G7X Mark III, so uh, Apparently one of the better um, Cameras out there for this kind of work. Yeah, uh, well better budget cameras put it that way So uh, I'm gonna get rid of this camera now switch to that and let's see how the quality works out Okay, as with any other electrical work, I'm going to start by disconnecting the battery before we uh, start tucking into this thing. It's just safer because we're going to have the main lead hanging off the back of the alternator. Now, uh, before I do that, there is one other step. And always remember to do this if you're working on a car with um, an electronic tailgate. Make sure you pop it open first, especially if all your tools and your spare parts are thrown in there. So I'm going to just pop that open and disconnect this battery. Okay, uh, removing the fan shroud is pretty straightforward. There's um, that little clip there. And there's another clip here, I'll just show you this one being removed. It's usually a snail, it's probably not ideal because it could cut it, but it just pulls out like that. And okay, it's um, actually pretty difficult to film what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna see if I can get some extra light down there in the gap but what I'm going to do is when I remove the fan fully I'll be able to show you a little bit clearer because um, the shroud will come out as well uh, what's going on here so basically what I've done is I've pushed the shroud I've disconnected the charge hose here pushed the shroud back as far as I can and I'm not sure if you better see in there but I've got a fan spanner, which I'll show you in a minute, 32mm, um, that's on the back, this is on the front. Now remember when you're undoing one of these, it's uh, a left hand thread, so I'm going this way to loosen it. So I've just managed to crack it free, uh, basically what I did was put this 36 on the end of the fan spanner, give me some more leverage and um, pull this this way. So I've got it cracked, I'm going to loosen it off fully and uh, pull it out of there. And with the fan shroud removed, then I can show you clearly what I've done. Right, you may just be able to make out in there uh, the fan spanner just going on to the nuts, so there's two nuts up against each other. So I've held the inner one with this. Um, 32 mil draper spanner and I'm using the other 32 on the outside.
Right, there's a hose down here that's just clipped onto the Madman Shroud, so I'm gonna have to release that. And that should be that, hopefully. Slightly cut here, unless air can pipe. Okay, so that's our viscous fan removed. You can see the uh, where I was grabbing hold of it with the spanner. Uh, so I was using the large 32 mil. Let's grab it from underneath. On that, and then I have this uh, laser. Um, it's actually a viscous fan spanner. So she's 32 on one end, 36 on the other. So it's 32 mil end. Went down here, just on the snout of the water pump, held that inner nut and then placed the other spanner on the viscous or in the bolt or the nut in the viscous fan. So when you're doing it just allow the fan to rotate with it. And of course remember it's the opposite tread to normal. So that's out of there now. I'm just gonna reposition my lights and things. Um, put my charge pipe back on just to protect my intake. Stick that on when I put the camera down and um, try and find the tensioner down here so you can release it. So, I've drawn myself a little um, diagram of the belts so I know how to put them back. And down here I've got, if you feel down into the engine bay, now it's not the easiest thing to film. Let's get the camera to focus there. Um, there's a nut down there on one of those pulleys, which is the tensioner, so it takes a 24mm spanner. I've got the bar on that, so as you can see, I can manipulate the tensioner and loosen the belt. So I'm going to start removing the belt. Okay, there's two electrical connections. One of them is just a multi-plug and the battery lead is attached down there with a bolt, so I think that's probably 13. It's just in there in the back of the housing, so I'm gonna undo that. Okay, so um, figuring out the access to the alternator took a little bit of time, especially to the mountings. Uh, first thing I would suggest is the ducting here to the fuel cooler. Uh, remove that, so that's just, fuel cooler sits up here. It's to um, self tappers, take that out, that just pulls out of this end and that gives far better access. Then, down there underneath the PAS pulley, uh, we had a nidler. I just need to find it now. Let's see where I put it. Oh, yeah, here it is. This idler sat in there. Now, the one mounting would have been just down here to the, I don't know, I'll just reposition my light. Would have been down just to the left of the PAS pulley. And um, the other one down the bottom was actually hidden behind this idler. So this one just undoes with a, um, it's an Allen key. And you can access the second one then. This one, as I say, sits just above the, or sorry, just below the PAS pulley. So unbolted that, removed that, and that should, in theory, now be free. But I think it might be just a, a little bit of corrosion left on it. So um, I was going to see, can I knock it out of there with a hammer? All right. So this is the alternator with the idlers kind of in the position that they were when it was in. So you had a mounting bolt on top which as I say sat just down under the PAS pulley. 15 millimeter long bolt that went through there. This bolt went through here so that idler 
just sat a bit off to the side and this idler then covered the access to that bolt so that's why you had to undo that. Okay before we look at that alternator, um, stuck the battery charger on the battery here. Obviously negative lead is disconnected. I uh, didn't bother disconnecting the positive, there was no need. So batteries on charge, it was down a long way so it's taking a lot of current to charge that up. Um, as well as that, I don't know if you'll be able to see down in here, but I've got now yeah, I'll just move my light. Down in there I have got a ratchet on the pulley or on the sorry on the tensioner for the air conditioning. It's just while well, I have that space, I've worked the thing free. I was gonna seize before so um it will actually be very easy to get the air conditioning belt on. It's only going from here to here, that tension will blow it. So once I fit the inner, the new inner belt, check that out in the same time and fix your air conditioning problem. So let's go look at the alternator. Okay, so here's the new alternator, old alternator. This is the brand I got. Um, everything is the same, nice and quiet. This one making quite a lot of noise so I think it was no harm to replace it. It has got a lot of um, silver paint in there and the signs that this thing was painted so it probably got kind of rattle can refurb. I wouldn't... Um, it was more than likely fixed at some stage, probably not very well. The only difference between the two, but it's not a problem, is if I can just turn this one over, uh, the electrical connection, the small electrical connection on the back Get this up towards the light. Two connections in the new one, one three connections in the old. But I've checked the wearing harness, and uh, there's only two pins in use, so that's not a problem. So get down there and get it fitted. So before I dry, I put it in. I've just offered up the idler pulley, so you can see the way that the mounts relate to the alternator. So it's going to take those out. So I'm going to have to. Wrestle it down into the engine bay and then get the idler pulley in place and put the bolts through. So it's going to set the camera down and get to work. So this is that idler pulley that I just pointed out the mounting location for that. Just a um, hex bit goes into it. So just gonna feel my way down there, get that into position. So it's time to uh, take my little hand drawn diagram and get my belt back in there. While I'm at it, I'm going to make sure I actually fit the correct belt. So, so a gate should be pretty good quality. Okay, let's fur this thing up, see how it sounds. Everything's nice and quiet, and she's charging, so we've got a result. Okay, that's it for this video. She's up and running. I've left the viscous fan and the shroud off for the moment. Going to leave them off for a couple of days, make sure everything's all right. An awful lot of owners uh, reckon that you don't need to refit the viscous fan, especially in the kind of climate we've got here, and unless you're doing a lot of uh, heavy towing. So, uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on your notifications. And I will catch you in the next video. Take care.